My name is Alyssa Alexander and I'm a rank and file leader in SEIU Local 1021. I was with about 20 people who uh, secured the door on the inside of one of the entrances into the Wells Fargo share the building where the Wells Fargo shareholders meeting was happening. Uh, I was with union members, with Grandmas Against the War, with Occupy San Francisco, and with several other community organizations. And we held the door and, and, and refused to let the shareholders in in order to try and force Wells Fargo to hold their shareholders meeting outside with the people because whether or not we're shareholders or just uh, ordinary folks, we are all stakeholders. We are all affected by Wells Fargo's policies. It's important to do this because right now in this country, the banks a couple years ago uh, crashed the economy and the rest of us are, are paying the consequences while they continue to profit off of our losses. That's uh, public workers who and people who rely on public services that are being detrimented by the by the loss in the tax revenue. Wells Fargo is one of the biggest tax dodgers in the country. They don't pay local taxes here in San Francisco, and they don't pay they don't even pay their federal taxes. They benefit from a lot of corporate welfare. So uh, certainly, workers and service people who rely on public services like roads and schools are suffering because of them. Uh, thousands and thousands of uh, folks in the Bay Area and millions nationwide have lost their homes in foreclosure. Wells Fargo is, is one of the worst at uh, offering uh, home modifications. And in addition, they're, they're benefiting off of uh, detention centers and uh, pushing, uh, and they're, they're profiting off of prisons. And so they are pushing to change laws to make more crimes felonies so that more people go into the prison system so that they can get money. And so they're all around just trying to destroy our society. They're also profiting off of student loans. They offer student loans that have twice the interest rates that federal loans have. So as tuition goes up and students become more and more in debt, they become more and more in debt to Wells Fargo. So Wells Fargo is one of the bad examples. Uh, or the worst examples of how uh, corporate greed is run amok in our country and is destroying the very thread work of working in the middle class. They did not threaten us with arrest. I think the, the idea was to try and wait us out. They were more concerned about, we were just holding the door, they were more concerned about what was going on on the other side as, as over 200 shareholders uh, and community organizers were trying to get in because uh, over 200 community members, immigrant rights advocates, and union members were trying to get inside to tell their stories to the Board of Wells Fargo about how they have been affected by their policies. We, we are all victims to, uh, of Wells Fargo in the various parts of our lives, whether we rely on childcare, if we send our kids to public school, if we're students, if we're homeowners, if we're elderly, if we, um, you know, all of us are, not just in some parts of our lives, in all parts of our lives are being affected by this corporate greed and that this may be one day of inconvenience, but like millions of us are being inconvenienced in, 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 from the instability that Wells Fargo and banks like them are causing in our lives. I think folks that are watching this right now should call the CEO of Wells Fargo